Ooh, I gotta cut back on the coffee. I can feel the dust from the shed in my head right now. I've been wearing a mask, but that fine bee dust in the shed is that only a beekeeper can understand. Woe is me. Hopefully we can get the rest of the girls out today. It's supposed to be a little cooler, so I should be able to work for the most of the day. Get these nukes out and get feed on these colonies now. This is probably the worst time of year for me. This is a this is where the rubber meets the road. We are pushing the boundaries in every aspect. Beekeepers will wonder, why in the hell do you winter inside? You, you put them in such an unnatural state and you expose them to all these conditions and have to make them react. It's because we have that damn winter that we have to manage. So we're managing bad with bad in a way, I guess, I don't know. And it's a very good strategy, it works. But you look at the stress, you look at the vulnerability of the bees right now, and they're flying. They get out of their colony, they haven't seen light for five and a half months. They get out, they fly, they relieve themselves, but they gotta find their way back into the colony. And that's the question I have right now is, are those bees actually making it back in? And some of them obviously aren't. Guts full of shit and they fly, psh, off they go. You see them so far away from the colony in the snow. Obviously they didn't make it back. How many of those are just kind of lingering in the grass? I just don't see them. Not like I see them on the floor in the shed. But then again, Either they're, they fly off and die outside or they fly off and die on the floor in the shed. What's the difference, I suppose? So these next few days are critical. They gotta get out, they gotta fly, they gotta get back in and maintain colony operations. So we'll see how many make it back. I'm expecting most of them will make it back in. We've had two really nice flight days here. Well, cold, but all the same, the, the bees seem to have organized themselves. Carrie and I were actually seeing the act of foraging yesterday. That typically doesn't happen for a day or two <clears throat> until the bees organize themselves and start focusing on colony development. But yesterday, it happened just like that. They got out, they flew, they got back in, and they're out foraging. I don't have anything out for them yet because, well, we don't, we're just, we're scrambling. We're trying our best to get our work done. We don't have open feed or we don't have open dry out for them yet. Typically, you know, uh, but at any rate, they're out there foraging from the edges of the snowbanks, just bringing in water, moisture. And I'm assuming they're using that to dilute some of that canola honey within the nest which is probably a lot of the problem that I'm seeing within the bees right now. That stress, that indigestion. I'm also noticing when I'm digging down, I'm not digging down a lot because we're so busy trying to get feed onto the colonies, but I'm digging down into the starved colonies every once in a while, and they sure have a lot of pollen inside there. And I'm wondering if that late, late, canola that we experienced last year <clears throat> they had to put a place for it bringing that pollen in some of these colonies had too much pollen in their nest so you typically don't see that in the fall I'm usually lacking that it took the space of feed so precious real estate was used up on too much pollen so maybe that was a situation that I'm starting to see happen right now 
and as these colonies maybe are uh, getting hungry and they're nibbling into that pollen store is filling their guts and maybe that's some of the uh, indigestion I'm seeing right now is just that old winter bee full gut canola honey eating pollen you know just too many things coming together at once there but I'll run some diagnostic we'll get things figured out here as soon as we get organized and it's going to be very telling within the next week of the state of my apiary. talking to a lot of producers across Manitoba, if not Canada. And we are seeing substantial losses. And I'm talking to producers who you never hear losses from before. And there's 50%, 45%, 70%, 90% losses, outright losses. And these guys are just scratching their head. They're bewildered. Like, what the heck just happened? Everything's lining up. Everything looked all right. They did everything right. They're building nuke replacements. Do you know, they're doing everything as they're told by the book. And they're looking at empty boxes right now with no answers. And it just makes my heart sink. I just want to help all these guys. I just don't know, like, how... First off, what the hell just happened? How do we, how do we help these guys? Because of logistics and certain circumstances, it looks like the access to traditional sourced packages aren't going to be here this year or if they are it's not going to be enough we're doing the math and it's not going to cover it and guys simply put will go without bees in their boxes this year a year where they need bees in their boxes to be able to capitalize on the opportunity in front of us like son of a bitch I always say you can make money at this business but you got to keep those damn bees alive that is the hard part. It just shows the vulnerability of our industry right now. In Canada, anyways, we don't have a backstop. We can do everything right. We can work our ass off. And that one year comes through just wipes you off the map. Our industry needs a backstop. We need to be able to provide the ability to recoup losses. I mean, it's not my business whether or not someone's hives die or, or how they manage their bees or, or anything like that. It's none of my business. But as someone who stands and is, represents industry, pointing out the glaring 
obvious error in the entire equation that we don't have the ability to be able to help ourselves when we're in times of desperate need. We don't have that backstop to be able to fall onto to be able to maintain our business operations. This is our livelihood here. I mean, what the hell? This makes this business so hard. And I feel for these guys. And I feel real guilty like last night. I talked to another producer. Just after I uploaded my video of all these bees flying. Huge losses. And I'm like, shit. You know, I hope I'm not seen showing pictures of... Uh, I've got a long road ahead of me yet, but I just hope I'm not showing the uh, uh, boastful image of my apiary right now. I'm just showing my apiary is all I'm doing. need to figure things out. eventually happens. I mean, it's got to happen sometime. My last pallet. These guys are starving. Saying not a lot, but out of the 300 or so I just moved out here, probably five or six 
which means the rest of them are not too far behind. So we need to get syrup on these guys right now. Carrie's down and she's feeding the fives right now. So as soon as I get these sixes down right now, we're gonna put syrup on these girls right now.